Nyx has combined forces with American Tannery, Wicked and Craig to come up with some amazing leather they call double stuffed. Welcome, I'm Carl Morawski and this is the channel that helps you own better, look better and live better. This boot right here is my preferred Nyx makeup. The H&W last with the moderate arch, Honey Vibram sole, which yes, you give up a little bit of durability, but that, that soft sole is, is really a great combination of traction and uh, the softness of almost a wedge and I got my boots in a soft toe as well. This is the Wicked and Craig Double Stuffed in Slate. Now, most boots that you'll find out there are chrome tanned leather, and there's a reason for that. Often they're much more weather resistant, they are cheaper, they're more pliable, and so they lend themselves a lot more to footwear than veg tan leather. Now, oftentimes you'll find veg tan within the, the boot structure itself, most notably in the heel counter, sometimes the toe stiffener, and oftentimes the footbed, because veg tan also has its own properties which are very interesting and unique. The, the issue with most veg tan though is that, think of you know like natural veg tan, like a stiff leather saddle, like bridal leather, it's very stiff and somewhat springy. So it doesn't usually lend itself to footwear very much. It also stains very easily. And sometimes it can get kind of out of shape if it's wet, which is why this particular leather is so special. Now, Wicked and Craig was founded in 1867 in Canada. They're now down in Pennsylvania, and they specialize in vegetable tanned leather. As a matter of fact, I believe that's all they do. So they're actually world renowned for their veg tan, and a lot of times you'll see people using Wicked and Craig in the marketing material. The double stuffed kind of name here comes from what they actually do is they'll put this leather into a hot drum and then they'll tumble it with a bunch of tallows and greases and waxes and it basically impregnates the leather with all of that goodness and uh, creates this th kind of their version of like a chrome excel or a hot stuffed leather. Now it's double stuffed because they'll, get, they'll then repeat the process at the end of the cycle of dyeing and finishing the leather, hence double stuffed. And what that does for the leather is it makes it a lot more resistant to weather, staining, a lot better hand feel, so it's a lot more pliable right out of the box rather than a very stiff kind of veg tanned feel. And the the actual end result is sort of similar to what you were probably used to with footwear, although you're still gonna get the benefits of veg tan. Now sometimes some of those benefits aren't exactly clear. Oftentimes people will say, well, since it's not tanned with chromium, there's less chemicals in there. It's a more natural product. So therefore, I, I feel better with that against my foot. So there's that side of it. But the reason that I like it personally is that nothing ages like veg tan. These should age very, very interestingly and hopefully drastically change. Now, since this is a hot stuff leather, there is quite a bit of pull up. And you can definitely see that around the back of the heel counter here where it's certainly lighter. So if I take this here and kind of push, I don't know if you can see that, see how my thumbprint sort of remains? Now what's interesting about the slate color in particular is that it tends to be somewhat of a chameleon. So you may notice that in some of the B-roll here, the leather tends to lean a little bit bluish green. And other times under different light, it looks a little bit olive. As a matter of fact, when I first posted these in my Discord, People were like, oh, great, looking olive boots. And I'm like, those aren't olive. Now this leather is proprietary between Wicked and Craig and NYX. Wicked and Craig will not produce it for any other boot company. And I believe even this color is special within that tannage. So unfortunately you won't be able to get this anywhere else. If you want the double stuffed leather, which I gotta tell you is, is pretty special, you have to go through NYX. Now it is a little bit thinner. I think this comes in at six ounces compared to their seven or eight ounce work boot leathers. Uh, the difference though, I mean, you know, one ounce, I really didn't notice much of a difference at all. I will tell you that these boots pretty much felt like every other pair of NYX that I've owned. Stiff in the beginning, you have to really kind of go through a little bit of wear to break them in. But after, uh, after a few days, they felt great. And matter of fact, I jumped right in with these boots. I had to go on a trip to Michigan and I said, well, you know what? What time like the present? At the end of my trip, they felt fantastic. As a matter of fact, we went on a long tour of the Henry Ford Museum, which is 10 acres under one roof. Really amazing place if you've never been there. And I was able to walk around all day without a problem, go to the airport, hit my gate, get home, and my feet were honestly the least of my worries. They felt very, very good. Now I will say the one downside of this pair of boots is the stitching on these is 
maybe the worst that I've seen across any of my other NICs. Now, most of the time, it's pretty damn good. I mean, you will never get that laser precision stitching that you'll see in some some like John Lofgren's or or you know Japanese pairs of boots. But oftentimes, it's pretty utilitarian. Looks good enough for what you're gonna do. This one is, you know, it's okay. Uh, it really got pretty wonky in places like this single piece backstay here. And I don't know if that's just a function of the boot leather itself, but you know, for, for example, this arc right here, you could tell that these two lines don't really match up. Now the NYX Wicked and Craig double stuffed leather is available, I think in four different colors, including a natural, a brown, a burgundy, and the slate that you see here. I actually got a belt in their natural and you can see all the cool variation. And again, that thing's gonna look dynamite in a little while. The one downside of this collection is the price. Veg tan leather is more expensive, so you're gonna pay a premium for it. For example, these boots right here are, you ready for this? That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. But then again, if you're buying this pair of boots in this leather, you're buying it for the leather. If you're just looking into to getting into a, a pair of Knicks because you've always wanted, you know, you're a fan of the brand, you've always wanted this level of footwear or something like that, you can get into a pair for somewhere in the 500s and save yourself a little bit of money. For those of us who are really nerdy about this stuff and want something special, this is what you do. So that is a high price. We're talking like White's territory. And yes, despite them hand welding some of their boots, you know my feeling about White's prices. I just think they're too high. So anyway, that's a lot of money for this, but then again, you are getting a very special leather, which I believe is also limited. So just to add insult to injury, if it's too expensive, it also might not be around for very long. I think they're doing like 100 pairs of boots and some belts or something like that, and then it's gone, that's it. But all the same, if what you really want is a pair of Pacific Northwest gray boots, maybe there's some other options out there, you know, which are a little bit cheaper. They won't look just like this. So again, I, I think this is kind of a situation where, you know, you either really, really love it and it's totally worth the price or you're gonna say, nah, totally not worth it at all. And then there's really gonna be nobody in the middle, which is fine, because there's only 100 pairs. But I really gotta hand it to Nyx. They have certainly bridged the gap between work boots and casual boots, blurring that line and making it so that you can get a work boot quality uh, that looks really, really dynamite in a casual situation as well. They were the first ones to really start doing that and I think that they've popularized it, and I'm really encouraged to see what they're gonna do pushing this whole thing forward. Special leathers, special makeups, that kind of thing really makes me wanna stay tuned to see what they might come up with next. You gotta give Nick's credit where credit is due, and I think this is a dynamite combo. Look at this thing, it's just handsome. This, this whole, this combination right here, me and this, there's too much handsome on this table. Can you even handle that? Man, that's something else. So, we have to do the drawing for last week's winner. All right, congratulations. I will comment on your comment, let you know uh, that you won, and then we can continue this via email. And if you would like to win $100, well, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment below with the following pass phrase. Let's, uh, let's go with double stuffed goodness. That should be good enough. Um, I mean, listen, whether it's Oreos or it's boots, you really can't go wrong. So comment double stuffed goodness below and you will have a chance to uh, win the random drawing next week for $100 via Tremendous. You can take that money and you can go ahead and spend it on whatever you want, cash it out, give it to a charity, light it on fire. I don't give a damn what you do with it, it's your money. Anyway, if you wanna see any more videos about NYX, I put all of my NYX boots videos into one playlist. Right there, you can go check it out from my very early days of the Builder Pro, which really set my world on fire as to how great work boots can be, all the way up to my latest collaboration and beyond with this guy right here. All of those Nick's videos are in that playlist right there, so go ahead and check it out if that's your bag. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>